Hello, lovelies. Welcome back. Ha. I am so, so happy to be on your faces again this morning. Today, I'll be teaching you how to produce this beautiful soap. We are learning how to produce melt and pour soap base using just PKO, 100% PKO. Can you see how beautiful these soaps are? Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. So I'll be teaching you how to produce these soaps. We'll be going through the process from start to finish. And also, I sell these beautiful silicone molds. The silicone molds gave it these beautiful shapes and design. I sell. So if you need silicone molds, please send me a WhatsApp message on the number above, and I'll get it delivered to you. I'll send you the different types I have, and then I'll get it delivered to you anywhere you are after you've made your choice. Look at how beautiful these soaps are coming out because of the beautiful silicone molds I use. So I'll take you through the list of chemicals that I use to produce this soap and also the process. With this soap, you can easily make your melt and pour soap. With this soap, you can even produce this soap and sell it to those people that sell soap bases, those that don't want to start their soap production from scratch. They just want to buy and add additives and then their soap is made. So here we go. Yes, this is my palm carne oil. I used 100% palm carne oil. And this is my caustic soda. This is my steric acid. And yeah, this my sugar solution, part of my solvent, and this is my water, the water for my, to make my solution. I also use ethanol and I, I use propylene glycol. Okay, here we go. Please watch till the end. The complete recipe is at the end of the video. So if you don't watch till the end, you may not get it. So just relax and watch till the end. The recipe is there. So I am using hot method for this production. Look at my pots on the fire. I started out with using direct heat because I had an appointment. I was only late for an appointment, but when my gas was proving to be uncontrollable, I had to switch to double boiling method. So I also sell the silicon spatula. I also sell measuring cups. I sell digital scales. I sell every tool that you can use to start your soap business. Cutters, metal molds, and the rest. I sell everything. So here, I've added my steric acid to my oil and I'm leaving it on the fire so that it will melt completely to dissolve. While I'm waiting for that to dissolve, I'm making my light solution. Please let it be on very, very low heat. If you have time, you can do the double boiler method, double boiling method. But I was running late, but sincerely I had to switch because my gas was proving to be uncontrollable. When I lower it, it will come up again. So I just had to switch to double boiling method. So here I'm making my light solution, my water, and my caustic soda. While we are waiting for a steric acid to be properly dissolved in a palm carne oil. So just relax and watch the process. Okay, so we are still waiting. In case you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Oge Chima Dukoma, and I bring you values on this channel each and every time. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, this will be the best time for you to do that. And to my returning subscribers, I say thank you so much for keeping me on YouTube. You are simply the best. Okay, so you can see it's clearing out. Our steric acid is dissolving. It is clearing out already. So we are ready to add a light solution now. A light solution, that is a caustic soda plus water. So I'm adding it now. And I'll say. Remember I said we are doing this production using the hot method. So that means my I'm producing it right on the fire. I started out with using direct heat, but I ended up with double boiling method. Double boiling method means I have water in another pot, put that pot with water on the fire, then put this particular pot on inside that pot so that this pot will not be directly under the heat. That will make it cook our soap gently and slowly without force. So here is our soap coming up beautifully.
My gas is really proving to be very, very uncontrollable. I had to switch to double boiling method after. I'm trying not to allow it boil, but the gas, I'm trying to reduce the heat, but the gas keeps coming up. So, I'll be adding my glycerin now. I'm adding my glycerin now. So, I've added my glycerin, and at this point, you just have to stir and cook it until it trays until you achieve a very thick trace until you trace so i'm stirring it i'm stirring just keep stirring while you're cooking on very very low heat okay look at me i've switched to double boiling method my gas was proving very very difficult it was like you cannot control me <laughs> so here we go we have a trace okay here we have a thick trays. Hope you're enjoying my video. If you've not given this video a like, please, I beg you. Like is free. You're not paying anything for liking this video. I am adding my alcohol. You can use any type of alcohol you like. You can use ethanol. You can use IPA, isopropyl alcohol, or anyone you want. But I'm using, I used ethanol here. So here comes my alcohol. So after my alcohol, I'll just allow the alcohol will help us break down the soap so that it will, and it will also help to clear out our soap. The alcohol here is act, also acting as a solvent so that if you need to melt it and add other additives for your melt and pour soap, the soap will dissolve very, very easily. The soap will melt very, very easily. You can always melt and add your additives and then pour back to your mold to solidify. So I've poured in my alcohol. I'll just suppose I'm supposed to just cover it and allow it to clear out. But like I said, I was running late for an Sorry, I just wanted it to be fast. Okay, here I'm adding my propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is also a solvent. What it does is that if you need to remelt that soap over and over again, because you have propylene like glycol in the soap, that will be possible. Okay, here is our soap. It's clearing out. Okay, so I covered it earlier on. And... Is dissolving, it's breaking down. The alcohol, the solvent, the, especially the alcohol, is helping us to break down our soap. Like I said, I just had to, trying to force it. I have covered again, and you can see it's just clearing out. I covered it so that the heat can be trapped inside because we need the heat to help us break down our soap molecules. Hope you're getting value from this video. If you are, please, I beg you, give this video a thumbs up. Just a like, a like, a like. It is free of charge. It won't take you anything. Just click that like button. Please, I beg you, so that YouTube shows this video to more persons that need to see it. And if this is your first time on my channel, I beg you, please do subscribe. You will not regret you did because I dish out value overloads here on this channel every time. So please, I beg you, subscribe if you have not. And please give this video a like. Please, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Okay, see, it's clearing out. It's clearing out. Oh. If you have the time, just cover it and it will just clear out on very, very low heat or using double boiling method. Just cover it with your cover so that it will trap in the heat and it will just clear out by itself. But don't mind me, I, I want to, I'm trying to force it. I want to force it. You don't need to waste my time, don't mind me. Okay, so here we are done. I brought it down from the fire. So I'll be, add I'll be adding my sugar solution now. I didn't add it on the fire. 
So I'll be adding it right here after bringing it down from the fire. sugar solution so i've added it you can see how clear how transparent our soap is i've added my sugar solution i'm adding it i'm adding it i'm adding it it's also it forms part of our solvent and it will also help the foaming ability of the soap the solvent here is a uh, alcohol a sugar solution even a propylene glycol and we have also added a glycerin to help us clear the soap and also is a uh, humectant okay here it comes i'm pouring it into my mold my beautiful silicone mold if you love the silicone mode and you think you want it just send me a whatsapp message on the number on the screen and i will send you the different designs we have and you make your choice and i get it delivered to you anywhere you are even in ghana i have people in ghana that bought items from me and i deliver to them sharp sharp hope you got value from this video if you did let me see you comment say i got value if you have questions after watching this video you can also drop your questions for me in the comment section i'll answer them as i see them here we go five hours later here is our soap five hours later it is already solid and we are unmolding wow see how beautiful and transparent our soap is can you believe that i did this with only pko Ordinarily, we've been told that if for you to do transparent soap, you have to make use of coconut oil. But here, I tried it out with just PKO, and it came out very beautifully. See a beautiful soap. Can you see the shape? Because of the type of silicone mold that we used. See a beautiful soaps. This is another type of silicone mold, another design. Can you see? A teddy bear silicone mold. This soap is so beautiful. In fact, I've used it to make my turmeric melt and pour soap. I'm going to do a video showing you how I did that. You can add anything you want in this soap, using this as a soap base to make your soap. This is a beautiful soap base that dissolves easily without stress. It give, also gives you the time to add all that you need to add to your soap. Wow. See how beautiful our soap is. Oh, yeah. Look at the recipe. Wow. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Please share and comment. Thank you.